Uh, up next, we have Damon Martin with MMA Fighting. Hey, Glover, congratulations on the win. Uh, obviously, you know, Anthony came out with a very fast start, and then you kind of, you know, weathered the storm and came back. Did you kind of expect that at the start of the fight? Yeah, I knew Anthony was going to come uh, to finish the fight. You know, he's, uh, you know, Anthony is a tough son of a gun, man. And, uh, you know, he got some power. He got some knockout. And I knew he was going to come and uh, and, and throw. I, lo I like this type of fighter. You know, I like the fight for me. And uh, I was expecting that. I just, uh, I have to, I knew I have to adjust the, the situation. Lee, my coach was telling me uh, to to let go my hand, let go your hands, you know, let go your hands. But like I wasn't finding the distance, so I was like, I have to adjust the distance. And uh, late in the second round, I start hitting more and figured out that he starts he's stopping more in front of me. So that's when I start getting my fight in my way. You knocked him down in the third. You had him down again bad in the fourth. Uh, were you surprised that he was able to continue at that point or that the referee didn't stop it because, because there were a couple of moments where it looked like, you know, it could have been stopped? You know, looking now, I, uh, everybody's saying, uh, Anthony was moving every time the referee say, but, you know, he's a lion heart, man. And, uh, but the referee should, like, uh, maybe uh, stop the fight. You know, thinking about it now, I mean, even though he was moving, but he wasn't doing anything to, you know, it, it, he's just getting beat up. And uh, I hate to see a guy like that, um, you know, he broke his tooth uh, one time of the day, he's, he's giving the tooth to uh, to the referee. So, you know, I just hate uh, to hurt a guy like that, man, anybody, you know, and I hope he's okay. Yeah. You've obviously been in wars yourself, and you want to have every opportunity to come back and, you know, get, allow the referee to give, give you a chance to come back. But is there a moment in that, you know, as you as you go in that fifth round and you ended it pretty early, but, you know, you got to think to yourself, like, man, I, I, I almost feel bad putting the punishment on this guy because obviously he was wearing it on his face. I mean, you knew how bad he was hurt. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, man, not feel bad. I mean, it was a time of day when he, he, he called the referee and, give, and, and, say, and say to the referee, I don't know if he do. But he called the referee and said, here, ref, you know, I, I didn't understand what he was saying, but the ref come and he said, my tooth, hold my tooth or something like that, you know, because maybe you don't want the tooth in the floor or something, I don't know. But like, then I say to him, I say, sorry, Anthony, but just part of the job, you know, and he say, hey, man, it is part of the job. So, you know, we, I, I like Anthony, man. I don't want to see the guys, uh, I hope he's, he'd be okay, you know, he went to the hospital, but I hope he'd be okay and uh, he will be okay. Last question for me, Glover. Obviously, four big wins in a row. I know Dana mentioned, and maybe you heard, maybe you didn't. He mentioned you know, the possibility of a, a fight against a guy like Dominic Reyes, Jan Blahovich, the other guy out there, whoever doesn't end up fighting John Jones next. Can I imagine that you would be interested in either one of those fights? Yeah. Hey. Anyone, man, you know, I mentioned uh, Blokovic, you know, because uh, the style, I like it. The way he come forward, he punch, you know, is uh, is my type of fight. But whoever, man, top division, I love it. Thank you, Glover. Congratulations again. Thank you. Up next, we have Jay Anderson with Cage Side Press. Uh, your line is unmuted. Thanks very much, and congratulations, Glover, and thanks very much for taking the time to do this tonight. Uh, first, just want to ask, I mean, it seemed like a couple of times you were close to the finish and you started hunting for the submission. Were you specifically looking to, to submit him because of the, the comment he made about maybe submitting you leading into the fight? No, not really. You know, I just want to, I, I saw submission over there a couple of times and I wanted to go for it. You know, I wanted to, to get the submission, you know, and uh, I wanted to just, to, you know, take the guy out of there, man, finish the fight, you know. Um, you know, I hurt my hand, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys can see, it's like pretty bad uh, in the third round. And um, yeah, I just wanna, maybe because I couldn't punch so hard with my right hand anymore. So I was so looking for submission. And there is obviously a lot of talk about the stoppage or the lack of the stoppage, how much heart he had. It's also been a lot of criticism of his corner. Um, realistically, do you think they should have thrown in the towel? Um, you know, man, it's it's tough because you guys like Anthony's people like uh, 
maybe, maybe the referee should stop it too. He's only looking now, you know, at that time, the ref would say, move, fight, move. Well, I'm going to stop. And the, and every time he say he tried, he moved, you know, he tried to move. But it, it's a situation that like, man, you know, the guys start getting beat up and uh, not really doing anything to uh, attack, you know. And, uh, yeah, I think the ref should just maybe, maybe could stop the fight in the fourth or round of the day because he wasn't doing much anymore, you know. The conversation that you had to had with him tonight, I mean, we were able to hear it on the on the broadcast. Is that something that's, you know, you've ever had a talk with someone like that before during a fight? I don't know. I think uh, maybe a couple of times, but like uh, with Anthony, you know, uh, I like the guy. We have a good relationship, you know. Uh, we, every time we see each other, we talk, we have a beer together, you know. I uh, And... Uh, was a point over there that he give the two to the referee and say, hey, man, sorry, man, uh, part of the job. And one time uh, he was talking about his jiu-jitsu, you know, I was trying to finish him. He's like, my jiu-jitsu is not so bad, man. Something like that, you know, and uh, just talk and have fun, you know. And I was something about the, the jab, too, because his, his coach would say, yeah, you hit him 100% of the jab, man. And I said, no, not 100%, man, maybe 50, you know. All right, last one for me. I mean, you said ahead of the fight, you tend to watch Tyson videos, Tyson highlights to get yourself pumped up before your own fights. Did you watch any specific uh, fight ahead of this one? Every time I watch a Holyfield and Tyson, man. Um, just because uh, the spirit of Holyfield, you know, the build up of the fight and uh, the spirit of Holyfield. And I did watch the, the highlights at the way uh, in the bus. I was in a bus coming to the arena. I watched the Tyson highlights. So, and, um, uh, the final countdown. You will put Mike Tyson, highlights, final countdown, that music, you know. Is it the, the first Holyfield fight or the second one? The first one. I watched the first one because uh, I just like the spirit, you know, of Holyfield. And like, I always say, like, move your head like Tyson, hit like Tyson, and the spirit of Holyfield. All right, man, great stuff. Congratulations again on a fantastic performance tonight. Thank you. Uh, up next, we have James Lynch. Hey, Glover, congratulations on the win. Uh, three quick ones for me. First off, 40 years old and still getting big wins like this. What's the key to longevity in your career? Because uh, not a lot of guys your age are putting on performances like you are. Discipline, man. You know, my gym t-shirt have uh, the pain of discipline is better than the pain of the regret, you know. And uh, discipline, um, learning, open mind, you know, the... Uh, Help from the PI, help from uh, a trifecta. Thank everybody, my coaches, listening. And uh, keep a discipline, man. Right now, I'm going home, take a week off, get this thing done, you know, and uh, get back to training. And when you say discipline, is that, you know, your diet? Is that, you know, maybe not doing as much sparring to sort of, you know, keep your career going a bit longer or those things that you've sort of looked at? No, I spar a lot. I spar a lot, mm -hmm. to be honest. I, in camp, in camp, I spar mm -hmm. a lot, you know, but like uh, I do a lot of sparring, man. It's my main thing. I uh, I was doing too much conditioning back then, you know, and sparring. That's what the problem. But now uh, we do a lot of five round sparring, you know. That's why i uh, able to keep fighting like then uh, in the later rounds. But uh, uh, discipline right now, when I go back, I just uh, keep myself in a, in a great condition. I put, a, put myself in a conditioning. And uh, hit some pads, drilling, yeah, no sparring until the camp coming, you know, so the camp, so they, they call the fight, you know, eight weeks before we, we get back to sparring. I know you said earlier you'll fight anyone they give you next. Where is Corey Anderson on that list? Just because that was your last loss. I know he's coming off a loss himself, but is that a fight you'd like to get back? Yeah, man, I don't think anybody, you know, uh, I fight anybody, man. But yeah, Corey Anderson is like uh, he's back in the list, you know. I'm wanna, I kind of wanna fight the, the top three, three guys right there, you know. I, I say uh, John Blokovic is like uh, Jan Blokovic, right? That's I, I say right the name. It's a diff yeah. difficult, but uh, um, it'd be a good fight, man. You know, uh, I like the style, but I fight, you know, I'm not here to choose a fight, man. Especially this uh, time right now, I just want to take a week off, two weeks off, and relax a little bit. But anybody, anybody. 
And, and last question for me, uh, you're, you're very close to getting another shot at the title. And John Jones, his last two fights have been very close, the split decision. And the last fight, some people felt like Dominic Reyes won that. Uh, do you see some weaknesses in Jones's game now with the fact he's been pushed twice now to the brink? Yeah, I mean, different. Uh, John Jones is, is, you know, he's a great fighter, man, you know, and, uh, but he's different. He's a different fighter than when we fought. You know, I'm a different fighter. And, um, I just want to take another shot at that title, man, for sure. That'll be a dream, you know. That's my dream, you know, and uh, no doubt that I want to fight him again. Congratulations, and uh, thank you for the time. Thank you.